peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. We are getting high. Have you heard of CERN? CERN? Concern? No, CERN. Have you heard about it? Do you know what it is? Concern? Never mind. Can I get a hello there? We got a question that came in. Someone wrote in saying, Ralph, do you know they're switching on the Large Hadron Collider in CERN tomorrow? What do you think is going to happen? What consequences do you think are going to arise out of that? Now, you're probably like the first guy or woman. I don't know. You don't know what CERN is. I didn't know what it is, right? CERN is the European Organization of Nuclear Research. Inside, they have a very big machine, and it's very expensive. The Large Hadron Collider, right? Think really long. No, really long. 16 miles long. 16.7 miles to be exact long. Let's get scientific here. What does it do? Find stuff in the universe. What else? Atom smasher. What else? Trying to look for the God particle. What else? Trying to recreate the Big Bang to find out where life started. What are we doing? How much does it cost? How much did it cost? Oh, just between 10 and $13.5 billion. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> what has it done so far? Well, it's found a really small subatomic particle called the Higgs boson. And we know if we continue smashing particles together, we are eventually going to find out the God particle. Is that so? Oh, yes, it is. Why? Because we've just spent over 10 billion on it. <laughs> Let me share with you how I see what's going on. No, I don't think the world is going to end tomorrow. In fact, this world can never end. But you see, CERN, being full of a lot of scientists who are trying to discover where we came from, what's a symbol? What's their mascot? Shiva, Lord of Destruction. <laughs> Can't we see the dots? Can't we read between the lines of what's taking place? Didn't you watch Prometheus? You see, the more we think we know, the more we realize how much we don't know. Let me repeat that. The more we think we know, the more we realize how much we don't know. You see, now they are turning on the machine. It's going to be twice as powerful. The temperature's rising. September 28th, the supermoon blood moon, lunar eclipse. There are no coincidences, my friends, that it's all taking place around now. Because as I see it, many people know we are not the only ones in this universe. Some people say it could be because they're trying to open up certain portals. This great awakening is coming onto the planet. They're trying to block out certain energies. I mean, NASA has already admitted they're going to find alien life between the next 10 and 20 years. So we've never been alone, right? I say I'm fascinated by quantum physics. At the same time, I realize that, look, millions of people around the world are starving. Yet, never mind, let's go and find the so-called God particle, right? You see, we send people to the moon, but we don't care about our neighbor. See, that's the mentality of human beings right now. And we've got so much evolving to do because look, the universe is the question mark. And therefore, even if you find the smallest particle, there is still going to be one smaller than that. Why? Because we are living in an infinite universe, which means it is endless. There is no beginning and no end. But at the same time, it's still pretty cool. Can I get a hello there? 
I just realized that there is something else going on. What do you guys reckon? Who knows what's going to happen? Have a beautiful day. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. Thank you.